I am now at the second unit here. So I am going to talk about these process model, waterfall model, incremental model which is unit 3. Quickly going to look at that, so process model. Now the whole idea here is to uh, look at the vocab that they are using because that becomes interesting. And uh, that would make it easier to understand. So having a broad level idea always helps here. So in the process model, just observe this word process. It was talked in the last uh, uh, video that process is uh, how we are going to do it. It's the initiation of thing, uh, just we are deciding things. So in the process model, you have a prescriptive model, which is the waterfall model. And uh, you have incremental process model, uh, incremental model, rapid application development. So these are the two process model. Uh, the waterfall just uh, look at the words it's used across streams uh, so if you go in finance you have the waterfall model where uh, uh, you would uh, remove the cash from top down as it flows like a waterfall water sucked up in between so that we find out what is uh, reaching at the end based on the priority in nanotechnology it's like uh, some other place that's used so a generic keyword <coughs> on how that would be used incremental and rapid application development are again the two ones so uh, what is uh, uh, perspective modeling so modeling perspective information particularly to represent pre-selected uh, aspects of system any perspective is different for us conservative educated is used so water model model just observe carefully and these diagrams are quite important system feasibility validation system feasibility validation coding verification installation operation and maintenance Requirement analysis, project plan and verification, requirement documentation, project plan, system design, document, detail design, verification, coding, testing and integration, installation, operation. Well, in the starting of uh, uh, understanding what software engineering is, we talked that we would plan something, we would create systems, uh, then we will have a system design, then we will have detailed design, then we have some verification, testing, installation and operation and maintenance. If you look here, feasibility and validation we start with, requirement is the second part which verification, requirement, uh, document and project. You can draw the same diagrams with this square and uh, cancel square or uh, square with uh, two triangles and use that. So in, in that way so you can do a lot of things that have system design, detailed design, testing, integration and so on. The simplest development is waterfall model which states that is organized in linear how there are many uh, waterfall project depending on that. So that is the simplest one. Uh, this will look actively leading to development of software. We'll only discuss the phase analysis and the waterfall. Another diagram portable requirements, software design, construction, testing, operation, and test. goes by step and step. Requirement analysis, design phase, implementation, integration, output as detailed design, limitation of waterfall design, and self assessment. And uh, then you have the incremental uh, model. So, incremental model, inception, uh, inception during the inception phase, uh, the scope is defined, elaboration. The first increment, second increment, the third increment, and the rapid application development. So, business modeling, data modeling, process modeling, application generation, turnover. Uh, data modeling, process modeling, turnover. Team one, team two. Business modeling, it also this is uh, going on. So, the following phases business modeling, data modeling, process modeling, application generation, and testing. So, red development and reusability, competitive speed of development for large project where prefer highly skilled engineering team at uh, both ends. So RED is a linear sequential development model that employs an extremely short uh, development cycle compared to uh, other. So it requires uh, well understood, well developed, getting the one using workshop focus group to use of a digital model. So that was about the rapid development model. So simple software design life cycle, whatever it uses is a phase of development, justify in the state diagram. Uh, a good plan is a requirement replicator, so super development, software engine design. So this was uh, about the process model. I just observe that all the process models are linear here. We are not going back. So uh, you, you just uh, keep on doing that. Uh, 